Okay, here I am again. I finished the picture with the crayons, and that's what I expect you to do too. Don't just draw something and leave it like that. Always lots of details, lots of color. Any medium that you're using, finish your picture from one edge to the other. No white spaces over there. So, and here we go for the next one. I was talking about using the watercolors. So, let's pick up any color crayon. Remember that we have been doing this before. And what happens is that the crayons, they have wax. So then the wax will not allow the watercolor to stick. So and it's really cool because what is going to happen is that the paint will be all around your leaf and not on top of these lines. It's gonna be super cool. So now we have our crayons. We are doing our amazing leaves and everything is looking great. And I can line them up like I told you before or I can do kind of a design and everything is okay. Everything is great. So then now, with my watercolors, I have my picture. With my watercolors now, let's see, since I'm going to paint, I can leave it like this. So you can take a look at it. Just like that, with the watercolors. And even I can draw some more details. So it'll be more interesting because like always, more details, more inform information, People will stop and look at it, and that's what we want. We want everyone to look at our work, stop, take their time, and see what we have been doing, and all that really fun thing that art is. Whoops, this one's going to go the other way. Uh-huh. So now, I pick up my brush, and the same. Let's start with yellow. I'm gonna start with the light colors and then I'll go to a little bit darker. You see what happened here? It doesn't stay on top of the crayon. So and that makes it super cool because it doesn't cover my beautiful lines that I took a little bit to do. And I can come in with some more paint and you can change colors. Let's put a red in it. Like we have been doing before, the paint does not stick on the crayon. And you can still come back with your crayons when it dries and draw some more details. Because once this dries, you really see how it is and then you start changing your mind. Oh, I want this one to come out more or I didn't have enough lines, or I want a little bit of contrast, so when I put in another color. It's all about what you want to do because this is your piece of art. You are the artist, and you decide. Look how nice these colors blend together. Is that watercolor is a very, very nice medium to use. That's why I like so much working watercolors with you because it's easy for you to use it. You can express yourself doing different techniques with it. It always looks so cute and pretty. You feel accomplished because we get to do very nice things. So it has a lot of properties that turn out being very nice. I have not put brown. Brown also sometimes will be in our lace. Where's my brown? Brown, brown, brown. Who is wearing brown today? Okay, I have my leaves and now I want to do the background. Like we were saying here, we want it to stand out. I put blue here. Let's put green in this one. Let's put green so it'll stand out. If I want the color to be stronger, I just go over the color a little bit more, I pick it up, I come in here, 
We want to have different colors with it, different combinations. You can come and pick up a lighter one. Then you can come with your dark. Oh, look at this one. Super dark. Let's put it in here. Oh, look how pretty. And you see that it doesn't go on the leaves either. Because we have our famous crying barrier there. It has, what does it have? Wax. That's what it has. So, and that's why it doesn't pass to the other side. And like this, little bit by little bit, you finish your picture. You let it dry. Just let it dry. And when it dries, you can come back and you can add more details if you want. If fifth graders, third, fourth graders, you're working on this, when it dries, you come back and put some more stuff in it. That's the beauty of the watercolors. Once it dries, you can come back. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Like it, like it, like it. Wasn't this fun? And it just took me two minutes to do it. Look how nice. So then that's all for the little ones. We have our little leaves. The older students can also do it. There is my website. Send me your picture. Send a little permission of an adult so I can post it in the art side. Because the art side is our hallway. It's where you can display your work and where everyone can see it. And that's the best part of making art. So now I'll see you. And yes, I'm going to put two more videos. So now I'll see you in the next video.